live from our studios, you're watching Fox Illinois News at 9. Tonight on Fox, Secret Service agents now on paid leave. This one month after the assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump, what officials are now saying about the investigation. Plus, an Illinois community mourns the death of a local police dog. He died in the line of duty. What residents are saying about the incident. And the heat is returning to central Illinois. But could a major crop be part of the cause? Our storm team took a look and shares what they found. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Eliza Petrie. We will get to those headlines in just a few. But first, let's get a check of the weather. From the region's only locally owned station, you're watching the news leader, WDAY. This is First on First News. The search for suspects continues this morning in a deadly shooting in Fargo. We'll break down the timeline for you. And as the U.S. is battling a summer wave of COVID-19 infections, we'll let you know when you can get your hands on free tests, vaccines, and treatments. Plus, let's take a live look outside this morning. Already warming up, Charles is tracking a hot and humid weekend. He'll let us know just how hot it will get. Good morning, everyone. It's now just after 7 o'clock on our Saturday morning. I'm Lisa Badeau. Get ready for some serious heat and humidity this weekend. Former President Donald Trump is visiting Wisconsin. Learn what town he is headed to first tonight. An excessive heat Sunday and Monday before a cold front brings cooler weather. The fourth annual Clearwater Festival is happening this weekend. Hear some tunes and hear from some musicians in three minutes. And the Department of Natural Resources launched an online water testing tool. Find out what the new technology aims to do in just five minutes. Your Saturday Night Report starts now. From WQOW, this is Eau Claire's Zone News 18 6 p.m. report. Thanks for joining us tonight at 6. I'm Nicole Ashley. From WXOW, this is La Crosse's Zone News 19 6 p.m. report. Tonight at 6, the sounds of folk music fill Riverside Park. A Saturday in the park, and it's all about having fun. And the Trump campaign is coming to lacrosse. Good evening, everyone. I'm Roger Staffaroni. Capital Region weather can change quickly. Don't get caught off guard. Stay safe with First Warning Alert Days. A First Warning Alert Day brings you severe weather updates from trusted meteorologists. Our goal is to watch out for you by tracking storms that might impact your plans. Trust us to be fastest to alert you with dependable hour-by-hour -hour forecasts. Stay safe with First Warning Alert Days. First Warning 13, we're watching out for you with severe weather coverage you can trust. In the Catskills, you can enjoy the outdoors year-round. Golfing, skiing, camping, hiking, and so much more. The best way to get the most out of your day is to stay on top of the weather with WYBN TV 14. Weather where you need it, when you need it, updated hourly. Weather can change suddenly, but you can plan accordingly by tuning into WYBN TV 14 weather on channel 14. WYBN TV 14, news, weather, and entertainment you can use. Covering all of Hawaii, this is Island News at 10. Happening right now, a tropical storm warning remains in effect for the Big Island as tropical storm Hone passes to the south. This is new video tonight of what appears to be a power line arcing earlier this afternoon. This was heading into Hawaiian Acres on the Big Island. Hawaiian Electric says it is aware of an arc flash and crews are responding. And here's a live look outside over Hilo Bay right now. You can see wind and rain coming down. Governor Josh Green has issued an emergency proclamation to make state resources available as needed. And Hawaii County has opened up shelters across parts of the island. We're also following breaking news on Oahu where Honolulu police are responding to a barricade situation in Minlilani Malka. But first, Let's send things over to meteorologist Paul Drews with the latest on Hone. Paul. This is Hawaii News Now Sunrise at 7. It's a first alert weather day as heavy rainfall and flash flooding. All of those impacts we're tracking at Hurricane Hone. Our first alert team is following the latest severe weather conditions as the storm affects Hawaii Island. 
An hours-long barricade situation in Mililani comes to an end this morning. We'll tell you what led up to that standoff. All right, a live look outside at Honolulu right now. As you can see, dreary day. Hone already taking a toll here, though not as bad as on Hawaii Island. Good morning, everybody. I'm Annalisa Burgos. Hundreds of folks in downtown, for example, already lost their power this morning. Una familia de Mission lo pierde todo en un voraz incendio. Ahora necesita la ayuda de la comunidad. Y se encende una bodega causando que múltiples departamentos de bomberos del Valle de Texas respondieran a la escena. I just, I just want answers. I just want her home. I just want her safe. And I know at this point I don't have a good feeling about any of this. Continúa la búsqueda de una joven desaparecida en la ciudad de San Antonio. Familiares piden ayuda de la comunidad. Gracias por sintonizar Noticias Telemundo 40 fin de semana. Soy Sara Alexis García. Mire, vamos a iniciar con la información y lo hacemos en la ciudad de Mission, ya que esta madrugada bomberos acudieron. From News Channel 15, winner of the Intercollegiate Broadcasting System Award for the nation's best community college TV station. You're watching News Channel 15 tonight with Kyle Peach. This is News Channel 15 tonight. Hi, good evening and thanks for joining us. So glad to be back with you after the long summer break. I'm Kyle Peach reporting. Here's a look at what's going on tonight. The Me TV Network. Me? Me. Home to familiar characters. We got to nip it. And memorable entertainment. Oh, I'll drink to that. With more than 60 of the greatest TV series hey. airing every week. Boy, they don't make places like this anymore. Me TV Terra Haute premieres September 1st on WTHI Channel 10.3. Me TV is memorable entertainment. Television. Hello? You gotta get your story straight. What an idiot. Get it through your noodle. Don't give a rat's behind that below. A new era begins. And I'm just getting started. Judy Justice. September 9th on WAWV. You'll find all your news now, only on WAWV. Covering the Central Coast, this is KION News Channel 46 at 5.30. Well, good evening and thank you for joining us here at 5.30. This is WPTV News at 5 a.m. After a stormy weekend, will we continue to see those scattered thunderstorms as we head back to work? You made your voices heard and it appears to be working. The group withdrawing its plan to build golf courses at Jonathan Dickinson State Park. Plus, drivers will run into road closures near former President Trump's estate once again. For how long and why many feel it's back to square one. Hey, good morning. It's a Monday. Are we awake and caffeinated, yeah, we friends? Are. We are. <laughs> We're long getting there. Checking along, checking along. How's it going this morning? Listen, there was a launch that was supposed to happen oh. overnight. We'll tell you why he didn't at the live desk. <laughs> this is WPTV News at 7. A plan to build multiple golf courses at a state park now withdrawn, but not out of the woods. What's being done now to protect Jonathan Dickinson State Park from future development? And after months of interest rate increases, some possible good news for homeowners. The move that could make it easier to manage a mortgage. The Trump and Harris campaigns at odds over the upcoming presidential debate why the major political event could be called off and what both sides are saying tonight. First at seven, more questions than answers today after the group behind the plan to build three golf courses at Jonathan Dickinson State Park backs out of that plan. This is WPTV News at 11. You called, you emailed, and you protested. Now a golf course proposal at Jonathan Dickinson State Park is being withdrawn. But petitioners say this is only the beginning. We have more questions now than we do answers. We're digging into what's next and following the resurfaced idea to give the federal government control over the state park. A location change for Riviera Beach Fire Station. Will it impact response time? WPTV is getting answers for residents in that area. And thousands of dollars stolen by what appeared to be a familiar face. How a Facebook account hack became a more advanced scheme with AI. 
this is just temporary. It's like putting a bandage over a problem. You know, the problem's still here. From Indie Streaming News Leader, this is WRTV News at Noon, streaming now. Well, good afternoon to you here on this Monday. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mark Mullins. Well, hot enough for you already? We are just getting started on this Monday. And Connecting neighborhoods across the Big Bend in South Georgia, telling stories from within our communities. This is ABC 27. We start your late news with first to know weather and some rain in some parts of our region. I'm Casanova Nurse, first to know Chief Meteorologist Bainbridge.